Hello YouTube, Goddard Radio Moscow here again with another beer review for you. Um, this is a very, very special beer review because today I just graduated from my master's degree in chemistry at the University of Aberdeen. So I'd like to give a big thank you to my parents and my sister and all of my family actually for supporting me through my five years at Aberdeen University and also to my professors for helping me through my degree. And I'd also like to give a congratulations to the rest of my classmates who, are also, who also graduated today. So just to let you have a little look at it, so I thought this would be cool to show you. My mum got me this for graduating today so this is the crest of the University of Aberdeen we're one of the four ancient universities in Scotland we were founded there was originally two colleges King's College which was a divinity school that was founded 1495 and Marshall College which was founded 1593 as a medical school and that was actually the oldest medical school in the English speaking world but we're the third oldest university in Scotland at 1495 behind Edinburgh, behind uh, sorry St Andrews and then Glasgow and then Edinburgh about hundred years or so younger than us so it's really cool to go to such a, a kind of prestigious and, and old university it's really really cool and I'm very kind of proud to be an alumni of Aberdeen University these days but for this beer review I saved something very special and I'm sure you'll understand why I've done this one when I show you it and um, but we're going to stay in Aberdeen today we're going to do one of the local beers and it, it's very aptly named for my degree of course so today we're going to go to Brewdog from Ellen in Aberdeenshire obviously their home brew pub is in Aberdeen and we're going to have a taste of of the Anarchist Alchemist which is a triple hopped IPA and this is a beer I've tried this one before and you know I, I tried it on tap and it was really good so I'm really interested to see the bottle one but this beer is actually quite old I think it's from 2012 late 2012 but I had it earmarked for this particular beer review so thank you for joining me for this beer review and as I say this one's dedicated to my professors family and to my classmates just as a congratulations for uh, for graduating today but as is usual then with my beer reviews I'll take you through a brief history of the Brewdog Brewery. It will be short because I've done a number of the Brewdog beers for you already. So um, if you are simply interested in the tasting of this beer, fast forward a few minutes into the video and you will catch that particular segment. And uh, as always, the brewery website's in the video description for you below, along with the link to my other beer reviews from Brewdog. So anyway, Brewdog was founded back in 2007 by two guys, James Watt and Martin Dickey. And uh, their first brewery was at the Fraser was in Fraserburgh at the Keswick Industrial Estate, right on the nose of the monster in Scotland in the northeast corner if you like but more recently I believe it was 2012 they moved to their new purpose-built facility in Ellen in Aberdeenshire which is about 20 miles or so to the north of the city of Aberdeen but these guys are very very cool they're a very experimental brewery largely influenced by the American craft brewing renaissance if you like and pretty much any style of beer you can think of these guys will have done it at some point in their history and in fact this is the only downside of this brewery is that a lot of their beers are one-offs and you really have to kind of buy them up as you go and this is another example of that I believe this has only been run twice so you just need to keep an eye on their website and stuff and see when the new beers and things are coming out but there are there's some really really good beers any style you can think of they will have done it at some point in their history but they're very known for their strong beers as well they've held the title of world's strongest beer on three occasions for the tactical nuclear penguin sink the Bismarck and the end of history also and uh, they've actually got a big chain of brew pubs going on at the moment and this was a uh, this started off in 2010 in Aberdeen, not long after I started university in Aberdeen actually, and I went in there on one of the first nights, so they started up there, they expanded throughout Scotland and further into England over the coming years, and they've got sites in uh, Tokyo and Japan, Firenze in Italy, Stockholm and Gothenburg in Sweden, and also in Sao Paulo in Brazil, and there will, will be new ones opening up in, I believe, Brussels, Paris, Berlin, and also some states and some states in the United States, some provinces in Canada, and there will be, they are apparently looking at Australia and New Zealand for these as well. So very, very cool times ahead for Brewdog. They're the largest independently owned brewery in Scotland and pretty much the flag carriers of Scottish craft brewing these days. So you definitely, if you haven't tried some Brewdog beer, you definitely need to do it. Some really, really cool stuff coming out of the uh, coming out of these guys these days and probably one of my favourite breweries in fact. So that's your kind of brief history of the Brewdog brewery. If you like, you can actually buy into this brewery. I should point that out as well with the equity for punk scheme. Uh, so you can buy into the brewery and this actually allows you to get discount in their online store and things like that and also at the brew pubs as well. It just depends on the level of investment you put in so a very very cool brewery that does have a good sort of fan base of it and things they really do listen to the fans of the brewery but let's get on to the tasting of this guy now I'm really looking forward to trying this one for you today as I said, I tried it before on tap and it was just really beautiful. So I'll just bring up the camera and let you have a little look at the artwork here. You can see it's quite cool. It's the typical sort of brew dog thing but with the anarchist symbol on it there. I believe there was actually two versions of this beer. There was one 
that I saw was marked as being 16.5%. So I think there has been two versions of this beer because this guy is 14%. This is a triple hopped India Paleo and you can see it's just got the, it's, it's a really nice little artwork. I'm definitely going to keep this bottle. So as is usual, I'll just read out the little blurb for you. It says, it's got two little things here actually. You can see it's got anarchist on the top and then alchemist on the bottom. So this is for the anarchist part. It says, fuck the system, forget what you know, what has been, bow to no one. History is bereft, reordered di disorder, embrace the unknown, the groundbreaking, the challenging, the aquarius revolution is upon us. For alchemist, try until your fingers bleed and your mind is numb, try harder, try this, try that, try the other, try what hasn't been tried, then try again, keep trying. Forge the new, the molten elixir awaits. So this is going to be an absolutely awesome beer to review for you. And as I say, with my master's degree in chemistry, I'm really happy that I was able to get one of these and actually review this for you for my graduation reviews. And also a big thank you to those of you who have been following me over my 250 odd videos now. But just to tell you about the hot base on this one, we'll just get this guy open and get on with the tasting here. As I mentioned to you, it's a 14% triple India Pale Ale, a nice smoky opening on it, but it's got a malt base of pale and caramels, and it's hopped with Centennial, Cascade, Columbus and Chinook, and if I'm not mistaken, all of those are American hops. So, really looking forward just to trying this beer, and at 14% I'll get a nice little buzz off it, which is I think I've deserved after graduation and all this today, so really looking forward to this guy. So as you can see, it's poured really, really nicely. I'll just set the bottle down, check that everything is good in position there. Camera can sometimes be a little bit funny. I should point out as well, this is a red shield bottle cap from Brewdog that's on this beer. You can actually smell just without even paying too much attention just how fresh this beer is. Let me just bring up the light and let you have a little look at the color of this beer. It's a very nice sort of bright reddish amber, if you like. It's just a nice, it's a quite nice, orangey red amber I should describe it as actually really nice you could see it just had a finger of a slightly off-white head there that's just fading to a nice kind of thin foamy layer and that's quite typical actually of the some of the brew dog strong beers the head kind of sometimes on the the double IPAs they come out but on the very very strong beers they go down just to a very thin foamy layer quite quickly but it's, it's a really beautiful looking beer you can just see a little bit of carbonation just going up to the bottom of the head there I'm, I'm really glad I, as I say I'm really glad I got to do this beer for my uh, graduation beer review. So let's just give it a smell here. It smells very, very fresh, as I was saying when I brought it out the bottle. Very, very fresh beer. It's very, very hoppy. It's got a nice orangey citrus in there with um, some nice tropical fruits, maybe some peaches in there too. But a lot of piney resin in this one actually. It actually kind of smells quite dusty. It smells like quite hoppy, dusty, this one. I'm not sure if that's just because I've had it for quite a long time, but... It's, uh, it smells like it's got a really nice kind of hoppy dustiness to it. Orangey citrus, as I say, a nice little bit of tropical fruit, peaches in there maybe. And there's some nice sort of dark sweet caramel in there. The caramel does have a really unusual aroma in this one. It's a very, very strong caramel malt base on this one. But I think there's perhaps just a little bit of grassy hop in there too. But it's a, it's a beautiful smelling beer, quite unusual actually. So really, really nice that uh, it's just a beautiful beer you can sit and smell this all day if you do happen to come across one of these by the way do buy it up and just enjoy the aroma of it and just sip this beer it's definitely a sipping beer but absolutely beautiful aroma a lot of citrus and tropical fruit in there a nice dusty hoppy aroma and some nice kind of piney resin and a really unusual smell in caramel malt base but let's give it a taste and see how we get on here so to the MCHEM class of 2014 from the University of Aberdeen in Scotland to the professors and also to my family for their support over these five years cheers very I would say this is a very very malty beer you're getting a nice, that's the first thing that's coming out on this one, a really nice alcohol warmth in here. A lot of the caramel malt is what is coming up on front of this. It's got a, a nice kind of, it's maybe got a nice little bit of a dark bread in there. Not quite rye bread, it doesn't have the sort of cereal spice, but there's a nice toasted bread character in there mixing in with that really beautiful uh, kind of dark roasted caramel malt base in there actually it does taste roasted but that's perhaps the alcohol warmth because it is 14% after all but you've got some really nice 
kind of citrusy, kind of dark orange flavours in there. And these are coming out a little bit with the kind of piney resins as well. Um, but it's a really, it's a really dark and beautiful tasting beer. But yeah, a lot of really, the pine resin in this one is really, really unusual actually. It blends, it actually blends very, very well in with the nice roasted caramel malt base. And as I say, it's very, very strong, so it kind of blends in there really well actually. But yeah, you've got some really nice, as I say, very, very dark caramel flavours in there. Some nice sort of citrusy, darker orange flavours coming out, and the piney resins are in there too. There's just a little bit of tropical fruit actually sitting towards the front of the tongue. And I would say that's perhaps just a little bit of, it's not quite pineapple, but it's definitely some sort of peaches, maybe a little bit of apricot or something like that in there. But it's probably more apricot actually, it's not the sharpest, peaches are quite sharp actually. But there's a little bit of kind of candied fruit flavour in there as well. So it's, it's a big mix actually, it's a very complex beer. But yeah, as is usual with the kind of brew dog, really strong IPAs, you get a nice sort of little bubble comes towards the start of the, come to, comes towards the front of the mouth, and that gives you just a little bit of the kind of orangey citrus flavour in there. There's just a little bit of tropical flavour too. At the back of the mouth is where you're getting the nice kind of roasted caramel base, and there is a good bit of toasted bready character in there, sort of roasted caramel flavours actually. And around the edges of the tongue, you've got just a tiny little bit of a of a of a nice kind of fresh character for this one. Actually, the grassy hops that you can smell in the aroma, the kind of croppy uh, dustiness in there, isn't really present in the flavour actually. Yeah, even on the front, it's spreading towards the front of the tongue. You've got that nice uh, sort of orangey flavour, but it all mixes together. It, it's very kind of unusual in that sense, just that everything goes together really well. The piney resins in this are mixing very well with that roasty caramel flavour. Around the edge of the tongue you're just getting this nice, un this very nice and sort of slightly sweeter caramel malt actually and it just mixes a little bit with some of the uh, the citrusy fruits with a little bit of, a li maybe a little bit of kind of lemony citrus actually, I don't know, it's not quite that sharp. Yeah, no, there is. There's, it goes kind of wet and nice and fresh around the edge of the tongue as well, so it's quite typical actually for this kind of style of beer as you would expect from Brewdog. But the mouthfeel of this one, definitely full bodied. It's actually quite a light carbonation, it's quite appropriate, but it's very, very smooth. It's got a good bit of oily character as well, and it's slightly dry in the finish, and there's a good bit of alcohol warmth in here too. But it complements the alcohol warmth actually helps give the uh, the caramel that sort of roasted flavour and it helps it blend with the, the pine resin quite well. So the beer is really interesting in that regard that the hops and the malts blend together very well. But yeah, it's an absolutely beautiful beer. You've got just this nice little oily character going around the edges of the tongue at the back of the mouth really nice sort of roasted caramel flavours, alcohol warmth just coming down into the chest here, and nice orangey flavours and a little bit of tropical uh, kind of spreading around the front of the mouth. The tropical fruits actually kind of go around the edge of the tongue a little bit. It's quite nice, just a little bit of apricot in there, maybe just a tiny, tiny little bit of grapefruit, but it's not the very sharp grapefruit actually. But overall, it's an absolutely stunning beer, and you know, I'm really glad that I got to do this for my uh, for my graduation beer review. As I've said on numerous occasions when I've done some Brewdog beer reviews, I've been in here quite a lot with uh, with Brewdog when I've been in Aberdeen, and it's a shame that I'm not living up there anymore and able to go and just pick up their new beers from the bar because you get some really awesome stuff in there. So 
very very cool and I'm quite sad to be leaving Aberdeen actually but I mean I've got a wonderful beer to kind of sign off from Aberdeen so very very happy about that but I hope you've enjoyed this beer review this is a stunning beer so if you do get the chance to pick this up which to be honest I don't I don't know if you will they might reissue this beer in a little while as I say Brewdog sometimes rerun these things every so often so keep an eye out for it you might get the chance to try it in the future but thanks again for watching my beer reviews as I say this one was dedicated to the class the MCHEM class of 2014 at Aberdeen University University. So I thank you all for watching this beer review and as always let me know in the comment section if you have tried this beer yourself. Awesome beer and as always like, subscribe, share, all the usual YouTube stuff and I will catch you soon with another beer review. Cheers.